Oh, shut up. Shut up, you little dirty pea. What? Yes, you heard me right. You think we're not aware of how you wear one underwear for weeks without washing it? Hey. Uzo! What? How could you? How could I what? How could you have the nerves to tell an outsider about my private life? Are you listening to them? I didn't tell Just them anything. Sh shut up. I kept your own dirty little secret. Amy! And you told them about mine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about I tell them that my lovely husband... Bad words. Hey! Baby, I don't like it. I don't like it when I have to remind you every time about sunning this mattress. For God's sake, what will it cost you? Just look at this man. Who else do you expect to sum them for you? When you were bedwetting, you didn't think it would be shameful taking the mattress outside? Please, just take this thing outside because I can't even stand the smell. Atokam, um, sorry, I didn't mean for it to come out that way. Oh, I heard you guys the last time. And I've, I've been thinking to myself, how can a full grown man bed wet? Or oh, maybe I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear you guys properly. Oh, yes, you heard right. Are you married to a full grown, shameless bed wetter? Mm. Mm. Hey, um, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. You see, when I was six, my brother and elder sister stopped bedwetting. I was asked to sleep on the mat laid on the floor because I bedwet. I thought it was going to stop, but hell no. At 10, I got admission into the boarding school where my elder sister attends. But I couldn't go because I didn't want any form of embarrassment. At 17, I got admission into the university. I had to go. The best my parents could do for me was to get me an apartment off campus because I needed my privacy. No one visited me except my younger brother who later joined me and became my roommate. Well, I dated a couple of pretty girls who came visiting, spent the night in my house and woke up in the morning to the fact that I bed wet. Some made jest of me, some told their friends, while some kept it to themselves. I met Emerald. On our first date, I, I told her everything, you know, which I could have done to other girls and saved myself all those heartbreaks. Wow. All these girls she dated left. <laughs> you must be really packing for her to ignore that. Yo, when I said hitting every girl, that excludes my wife, you know. If you and your husband hadn't come here, all this wouldn't have happened. Oh, please, don't even go there. When you were running your mouth like a loose tap, you didn't know it was your family reputation you were dragging through the mud. As if you have any left. Really? I do, darling. Unlike you. You decided to humiliate me, Alero. Cox 
you know, tell you see, I let you don't see everything waiting for streets. You need to leave. Oh, yes. For the sake of peace, I'll leave. But the next time that daughter of yours decides to lay as little as her dirty finger on my princess. I will teach you both a lesson you will never forget in your life. Get out of my house! Come on. Are you thinking of hitting my wife? Why would I do that? Come on, man. <laughs> I am warning you, madam, two weeks, one pant. If your hand touch me, I go beat you black and blue. I said you should leave. Not touch leave. me! Just and if I touch me. you, what will you do? Oh, what will you do if I touch you? Enough! 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 We've all had a field day. Mr. Acosta, it is time for you and your wife to leave my house. Exodus! Leave! Move. Can you imagine? Honey, Sharon just sent a message. She says she's been trying to reach you. My phone! Where are you going? To get it, obviously. Babe, listen, hey. Hey. Mrs. Da Costa, what is it again? Have you found it? Hi. Have you found it? Shameless whore. Hey. What did you just call me? Whoa, 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 baby. Please. Let it go. Did you call me a shameless whore? Yes. Ah, oh, God help me. Because if I unleash violence on you, hell will reject you. Baby, please, let's go. Please. Please. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you not say Coxie is your younger sister? <laughs> Coxie and her loud mouth. He must be Emmy. I mean, Emerald. Ooh. What a small world. Does your husband know why you sent your younger sister abroad? Or rather, why you always travel out to bet your kids? Alero, get out of oh, my house. Oh, no, baby girl. He deserves to know the truth just like mine. Tell him you are away that he's been sleeping with your younger sister. Tell him, baby girl. <clears throat> what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, darling. Coxie told me. Darling, I can explain. Oh, dumb and stupid. Explain what? The fact that your barren wife here paid her younger sister to come seduce you. <clears throat> I don't understand. You knew I was sleeping with Coxie? And, and wait a minute. Did you just say she's barren? I mean, you, you, did, did, did she just say you are yes, barren? Yes, you heard me right. You heard me clearly. Coxie told me that her sister could not conceive as a result of an abortion she heard when she was 16. No, no, not just that. She begged her sister to come seduce you and pretended not to be aware. Uh, 
Is she saying you're not the biological mother of my kids? Oh, God! You are such a dumbass! Do you need a revelation from God, honey? Does he need that? Answer me! Yeah. Hey! But they're my kids. Our kids. Shut up! Shut up! Hey! 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 Don't touch me! Don't you ever touch me! You irritate me so much! Hey, don't touch me. What is wrong with you? I told you to let things be. Honey, but I came to pick up my phone right in your presence. That insulting me. I told you to let me get the phone, but you insisted. So I should keep quiet. No, I should keep quiet while she insults me. Shut up! Please, you can't leave. You can't just leave our marriage like that. What marriage? No, tell me, which marriage? That woman out there, Alero or whatever you call her, is right. This marriage is based on deceit and lies. That woman is a mad dog. Yet she made me know who the real mother of my kid is. Honey, please. Let's, let's talk about this. We can't talk about any shit. Zoma, you're a good man. I didn't want to lose you. I did what every woman in my shoes would have done. You had an abortion at 16, which resulted in you having medical complications. And you couldn't deem it necessary to tell me. What nonsense is that? No, tell me. I didn't know how to tell you. Besides, the doctor said my chances of getting pregnant were slim. Oh. Wait a minute. So all those while you were collecting money from me for abortion, you were never pregnant. Now tell me! You were never pregnant. Hey! Holy matrimony! Oh, please don't even go there. Because I don't, I don't, I don't. Alero! Alero! You came into my house to destroy a marriage I've worked so hard to build. Does your own husband know that you had an abortion few days to your wedding for his friend, his best man? Well, he's away now. And you know what? He can leave for all I care. After all, he has kids with another woman. <laughs> Coxie. Coxie and her big mouth. She must have really fed you enough. But why? Why are you doing this? You started at first. You wanted to shame me in the presence of my husband by asking me how I got the scar. And for not asking if I ever graduated. Remember? I guess you still have a lot to say. Or have you exhausted your cards? Oh no. On the contrary. No. Is your husband aware that you were sleeping with his late younger brother? What?
But you don't even know my late younger brother. <laughs> How would you know about that? Coxie. Coxie! She told me she came visiting one fateful day. Your late brother in bed with your wife. Your late brother was having a secret affair with her. Who are you? I... Just when I thought I have had enough for today. Darling, she has a knife. She has a knife. Honey, 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 please calm down. Honey, please calm down. Don't do something you will regret later. What is there to live for? Your children. Yes. This is the time for you to start on a clean slate without any secrets. I just want to die. Oh, yes. Yes. A little. Why? You, you caused that. How can you hate someone without a cause? The day my husband and I moved in here, I saw the way you looked at us. I didn't even know you. Why do you hate me so much? Jealousy. What do you mean jealousy? That's ridiculous. What do you have that we can't afford? This! And that is what I have, and that is why she's jealous! How may I help you? I'm Clue. Cleopatra. Your neighbor. I live in Jonah Flat. Okay. Can I come in? You're in already. Sorry for looking indecent. I was about having my shower. Oh, please. Cleo. Tell me it is not true. Cleo, tell me. Tell me it's not true. I'm dying. What? Cancer. Hey. And for how long have you known this? For a while now.
They've been trying so hard to keep it Everybody has a story Everybody has a flaw They've been trying so hard to cover it up What do you stand to gain? Hiding all your flaws Someday the truth will rise Exposing all the lies Nobody's perfect Everybody knows But building on the lies Is something I will never do Tell truth I want to know Believing in the dark for way too long What is the truth? Let me know it right now Before it's too late Please tell me the truth Let me know loves to pretend nobody knows the truth I cannot understand it trying to protect your ego and trying to protect your pride you can do anything to cover it up but what do you stand to gain hiding all your flaws Someday the truth will rise, exposing all the lies. Nobody's perfect, everybody knows. But building on the lies is something I will never do. Tell me the truth, I want to know. Tell me the truth, can you tell me the truth?